Care loss is a real problem for a lot of people. Every time when you take a shower, you probably see a lot of hairs that just fall down waiting to clog the drain. And in fact, we lose about 50 to 100 hairs per day. But if you're a man, there's a 66% chance that by the age of 35, you will have experienced significant hair loss. And if you look around, it's quite easy to see that a lot of men, as they approach 40, have some degree of baldness. And on the other hand, women seem to have it a lot better because unless they choose to be bald or they have an underlying condition that forces them to lose hair, you don't really see a lot of bald women. So if you ever wondered why do men go bald and women don't, you are in the right spot because my name is Andrew Dandrew and I am on a mission to find the most important questions of the universe and answer them here. So I guess you're gonna find out the answer. That was a really bad intro. The answer is DHT or dihydrotestosterone. And I guess that just ended the video because I gave you the answer. As a man, when you go through puberty, your body starts producing testosterone. And testosterone is responsible for giving you your masculine traits, like a deep voice, facial and body hair, and increased muscle mass, and so on. About 10% of this testosterone gets converted to DHT. This DHT works together with the testosterone and contributes to a lot of the changes that happen during puberty, but it plays a very important role in facial and body hair growth. And if things go wrong with its levels, it can cause hirsutism, which is basically excessive facial and body hair growth. Then, as you age, this DHT gets linked to certain receptors on your hair follicles. A healthy hair follicle works in cycles that can last between two to six years. And during this cycle, your hair follicle will grow a hair. Even if you cut or shave it, hair will continue to grow out of that follicle. And when the cycle ends, the follicle enters its resting phase, as it is called, and the hair gets thinner until it falls down, leaving an empty spot for a new hair to grow out of that follicle and for the cycle to repeat. As more DHT gets attached to the follicle, the follicle begins to shrink, the hair begins to thin and fall down much quicker until the follicle shrinks so much that it is unable to start a new cycle and it's basically dead. No more hair is going to grow out of it. And this is what basically causes pattern baldness. The sensitivity to the DHT depends on genetic factors, so some people get more affected than others depending on their androgen receptor gene. If your male ancestors went bald, there's a pretty high chance that you will go bald as well, fortunately. But if you're a healthy woman, your body doesn't naturally produce a high level of testosterone or DHT. So while you still have the hair sensitivity to DHT, there is just not enough of it in your bloodstream to trigger the hair loss problem. So this is basically the main reason why men seem to be affected by baldness as they age and women don't. It's the fact that women don't have the high levels of DHT in their bloodstream. So guys, unfortunately, it seems that there is not a lot we can do to avoid this problem. So I think we just need to enjoy our hair while it lasts, Johnny Bravo style. If I'll be unfortunate enough to lose it, I have a backup plan right here. Okay. So this is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you can harness the magical power of that subscribe button over there. And you can also hit the like button. And how do they say it? You can use Thor's hammer to smash that uh, that subscribe and like button. If I suck, you can let me know in a comment maybe. You can hit the dislike button if you dislike the video. And if you want to see me again, stay tuned for the next one. Don't forget to hit the bell. Just take care of your hair and your health because you know, you might be losing it one day. My face went all yellow because night mode started on my computer. It's late here, so I'm going to end this video Stay tuned for the next one and I hope you enjoyed it.